Hi everybody, this is Pasha. In this video, I want to show you how to use and analyze search term reports on Google Ads to see what search terms are triggering your ads to show up and how to add unrelated search terms as negative keywords so you don't have to pay for unrelated searches. Search term reports on Google Ads. The search term reports provides insights into the searchers that triggers your ad and how those searchers are performing. This report also helps you discover new ideas for creative and landing page content to align with what your customers are looking for. Difference between search terms and keywords. A search term is a word or set of words a person enters when searching on Google. A keyword is a word or set of words that Google Ads advertisers can add to a given ad group so that your ads are targeting the right audience. Example, you have targeted the keyword roof repair. Your ads might show up for search terms like roofing repairs, roofing, roofing service, roof maintenance, because they are related to the keyword that you have selected. To view the search term data, on the home page of your Google Ads account, on the left side menu, under keywords, select search terms. Now we are looking at all the data for the search terms for our accounts. These are the words or phrases that people have searched on Google that has resulted in our ads to show up. Then we can decide whether all all of them are related or some of them might not really be related to our keywords and campaigns so we want to exclude them. The first thing that you need to do is to select the time range of your data, what time range you want to review. I'm going to select all time data. Here there is an option for add filter. You can select some filters to filter your data. For example, I'm going to search for campaign here and just look at the data for the campaigns that ha have the name coaching in them. Then I'm going to select another filter for clicks and to have data uh, that have at least one click because a lot of search terms might show up might have impressions but users never click on them because I want to reduce the number of my data I am going to add some filters also another filter for keywords is called added or excluded here by selecting none, you won't uh, see the data for the keywords, for the search terms that are exactly the same as your keyword. Because I already have uh, them as a keyword, I don't want to look at search terms that are exactly the same as my keyword. So I am going to select none. You also have another options for columns. You can modify the columns that you are seeing on your page by selecting columns and modify columns. Here on the right side are the columns that you are seeing on the page. For example, you might want to add or remove some uh, columns. For example, you, want to, you might want to look at this average CPC or click-through rate. And you can also change the position of your columns and apply the changes. 
Now to analyze data, I am going to download this data in a CSV file. It is preparing my report. The report is downloaded. I am opening it in an Excel spreadsheet. Let me zoom in a little. So the first thing that you want to do in your downloaded report, just remove the first two columns because they are just title columns. They are not useful to us. Also on the bottom of your data, there are some rows that are for total data. I don't want to look at the total data. So I remove them too. So this is our raw data that we downloaded from Google Ads. The colors that I really want, I really need uh, to analyze are search terms, probably match type, cost and impressions, conversions, and clicks. I don't really need the rest of the data, but I don't mind them being there because I'm going to look at data uh, on pivot table to make the analysis easier. Now to make a pivot table on the top of your Excel file, click on insert and pivot table and just press OK. Now I am uh, a new sheet is created in your Excel file. I am going to create a pivot table to analyze my data. The columns that I want to look uh, search terms, I'm going to add it from here to the row section. Uh, let me adjust some options in my pivot table. Now the data that I want to look, the numbers, I want to look at cost. I am adding them as values, cost, impression, and clicks, and conversions. I am going to uh, create some more columns, some more data on the menu on the top pivot table and anal analyze. Click on field items and sets and select calculated fields. I am going to create a column for cost per lead. This is going, uh, this formula for cost per lead is cost divided into conversion. Now this formula is going to tell me if any of these search terms had conversions, how much does it cost uh, to get that conversion? How much is the cost per acquisition or cost per lead for any of these search terms. This is very important for you to decide whether they are profitable or not. Some of them might result in conversions and leads, but they might be very expensive. So you don't want to pay that much. As you see, a new column is added here for some of cost per lead. I'm going to add another column for cost per click or CPC. Another formula, it is cost divided into clicks. Here is my cost per click to realize uh, whether these search terms are expensive or cheap. If any search term are, is expensive, uh, you might want to exclude that. These two columns might uh, are 
currency. So I'm going to change form. I'm changing the format to dollar sign. Also cost is a currency. Now these are all the data that I need. You can add more columns if you want, depending on what you want to analyze and what you want to look at. For example, you might want to add CTR, click-through rate or conversion rate columns here and look at those data too. Now I am going to sort my data uh, based on cost. Because you want to look at the search terms that have higher spend, higher volume, you have paid for more for them to see whether they are relevant or not. Now let's analyze that data. Here the first thing that I see, uh, the campaign, uh, in this campaign I am offering coaching services to people. So people who are searching for coaching services, coaching advisor, career advisor, they search and come to my website and fill in a form and the number of conversions says how many people by clicking on this, uh, by searching this uh, phrase career advisor turn into a lead for me. Keep in mind that the data that Google uh, provides for search term reports, they're not really complete. Uh, for example, if I, I'm sure if I look at the campaign report for coaching, the total number of conversions will be higher than what I will see here in the search term report. Because Google doesn't provide all the data, all the detailed data for search terms, so the data might not be complete, but it's, it's still complete enough for you to get insights. Okay, I'm looking at my, at the search terms that, uh, triggered my ads. Okay, I see here a search term for free. Another one, free career counseling. Another one, free career counseling Toronto. So I'm seeing a lot of search, free search terms have triggered my ads to show up and they have spent a lot. I have spent a lot of money on these courses. The thing is my course is not free. So if somebody is looking at a free career counseling or a free course, they might not really be relevant to me. What I'm going to do is filter my search terms for all the search terms that have the term free on them. As you see, a lot of search terms were free here and to see the total data for the all free search terms, I'm going to the bottom of my table. I have spent uh, about $1,300 for search terms that contain the word free. Is it good or bad? My, my course is not free. So do I want to show it to people who have searched for the so, uh, for the free courses or not. Now I'm going to look at the conversions and cost per lead, these two columns. Even though my course is not free, but people after searching for free course, after coming into my website, I have had 11 conversions and the cost per lead for these free search terms has been around $118. For me, this is a reasonable cost per lead because I'm going to make more money out of each person who buys my course. So this is a reasonable number for me. For example, if uh, the cost per acquisition for me was, uh, for this search terms were about $500, it would have been too expensive. But $118 is not really that expensive for me. It is expensive, but it's still reasonable. So I decide not to exclude the, the word free so that 
when people search for free career course, my ads still show, shows up. My course is not free, but people are searching for free career counseling, free course, and my ad is showing up. People are coming into my website and they are filling the form. So I am get, receiving leads through this search term. So I like this uh, search term. It's useful for me. Again, looking at all the data. Here I have a term performance coach. I know that performance coach is a term in sport and athletics world. So I might want to uh, exclude this one. But again, I will go and look at the all search terms containing the word performance to see whether they were profitable or not. Here I have a search term for teacher. I am not offering career coach for teachers. So let me look at the, all the teacher search terms. Okay, only one. It, uh, it has spent about $14 for the people who have searched for this phrase, teacher, career, coach. It resulted in 259 impressions and 14 clicks, but none of them resulted in conversion. So uh, I am, because I'm not offering this course for teachers, I am going to highlight it as a negative keyword which search terms are not related to your campaigns that is something that you decide based on your campaigns based on your keywords I am looking at other search terms mm. I have something here that catch my eyes, catches my eye, virtual, okay, let me search for the, are the virtual search terms. Again, it has spent $55 and the cost is, uh, per click is 4.61, a little expensive because the average cost per click is usually lower than for my keyboards. So I'm going to highlight virtual as another, the word only virtual as another search term that I don't want to show up. And it is virtualcoach.com. It might be even another website. People are searching for another website while my ad is showing up. One other useful insight that you can get from your search term report is to add the search terms that are spending a lot and resulting in conversions and add them as keyword. Uh, for example, I have these two keywords, career advisor and international coaching federations. Together, they have spent more than $4,000 and they have had 20 conversions. So, I want to add, uh, to highlight these search terms and add them as a keyword, as a standalone keyword to my campaigns because they are useful search terms. They are something that I missed in my keyword research, but they are showing up in our ads when people search for these search terms and they are useful to me. Another way to look at these search terms is by adding the keyboard section to the rows, I can see which uh, search terms are resulting from which keyword. For example, I have a keyword for one, uh, one on one coaching. These are the search, okay, let me first sort it based on cost again. For career coach, uh, these are all the search terms that are resulting from this keyword career coach. 
I have already added carrier coach as a keyboard and because I excluded them from the report, they are not showing it. The carrier coach search term is not showing up, but there are many other useful search terms. So, okay, now I had highlighted two keyboards as negative keyboards. Let me see what they were. Teacher, career coach, and virtual. I want to add teacher and virtual as negative keyboards. How? I'm going back to the Google Ads uh, interface. On the top menu, Tools and Settings, click on Negative Keywords List. Here, I'm going to create a new list and calling it Coaching and Negative Keyword Keywords. And all the add all those search terms that I want to add as negative. There was one teacher and another one as virtual. I'm calling it coaching because this report that I downloaded were just the search terms for key for coaching campaigns. It's always nice to it's always a good idea to categorize your keywords list. For example, one key, one search term that is not useful in this camp coaching campaign might be useful in another campaign. So you don't want to remove or to add uh, all these negative keyword list to all the campaigns, only some selected campaigns. So here by adding negative keywords list, coaching negative keywords, adding these two terms, teacher and virtual. I'm going to save this. Here that is coaching negative keywords. And here, after opening that, you can select which campaigns you want to add it, add these negative keywords. I'm going to add it as to all the coaching campaigns and then you just need to select on. From after that, when anybody searches for teacher or a teacher course or virtual course, my ad is not showing up because I added them as X as negative keyboard leads, negative keywords and added them to my coaching ads. I hope this uh, tu short tutorial was useful for you. If you have any questions regarding ser analyzing search terms and how to add them as negative keywords, just post it on the comments and I will try to reply to your comments.